Hey y'all, it's Shayla and Huxton here, back with Old Pecan Homestead, and we are going to be showing you oh, how, get out. it's okay, we're going to be showing you how to sex a rabbit. So we have these four little bunnies that you've seen on a few, well several videos back, and um, all four of them are for sale. Um, if, um, if none of them get bought up, we'll end up either keeping some to breed or butchering them. I'm just doing so if you're interested in these videos and you're local, hit us up. Well, Come get a bunny. One has these, this one has green eyes. Green eyes? Are you sure? Actually, it's brown. Otter is going to come and jump the in the camera I too. Have, Auntie Otter. Has black eyes. I Ow! love you. Did the goat step on your foot? Yeah. <laughs> Whoop! There goes a rabbit. Hold on. Oh. Man, I didn't think they could jump out of this bin here and they're just hopping out like crazy. Okay. I also, I, I have these tiny little nail clippers. They're like for cats. But we're going to go ahead and use them on these rabbits. I like the ones that, whew, <laughs> that um, I like the ones that you squeeze on them. It's a little bit easier. But any nail clippers will work. Even fingernail clippers will work on rabbits. So, oh, all right. Let's go ahead. You got that one pretty tamed down. Woo! Hey, Gober, you're gonna kill yourself over here. What's going on? What are y'all doing? Liza, you stepping on a kitty cat. Rabbits are jumping everywhere. This is chaotic. All right. Uh oh, that one might have hurt himself. I'm take this. Jumping out. Ah! Stop it. Shoot. I'm going to cut this one's toenails. Cut this one's toenails. I'm cut this one's toenails. Okay. Oops. All right, get back, bud. Okay. Cut this one's you want to cut that one's toenails first? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. He likes you when he hugs you. He does. Oh, yeah, Alright, I'm going to get this camera yeah, turned so you can actually you see it better. When you hug him. He, he likes like it when you hug him? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to stay here and be my helper? Okay. So we got rabbit number one set up right here. I'm probably going to have to be catching rabbits. They're jumping out of this bucket. <laughs> Okay, so if you ever trimmed a dog nail or probably most nails, it's pretty much the same. Hopefully, this rabbit has got clear nails, so it's really easy to see. You can see his little tiny nail right there. Let's see if I can get it zoomed in anymore. There we go. Don't mind my really bad nails right now. All you're going to do is clip down just a little bit. Let's see if I can get him up here. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so you can actually see this his now. Whoops. Just so you know, the best way to hold the rabbits is if you stick your finger right here up through the ears and grab them by the back of the head. Then you'll get full control. And in 4-H, this is actually how you check their teeth and their nose and stuff like that. So, if you get them right there, back of the head, in between the ears, you got a good hold on them. And I will show you. You can see, you can kind of see where the, uh, the veins start that you don't want to cut too deep. Obviously on a black rabbit, black nails, darker nails are going to be a lot harder just with it, like any animal. Let's see what we can get here on camera. There you go. Okay, so you can see that pink right there. You don't want to cut past that pink stuff if you can see it. If you can't see it, I would just try to cut right at the tip. Um, if you look underneath, you can get a better idea right underneath the bottom of the nail. I think all the rabbits probably have about the same color. But underneath you can kind of get an idea too. You can see the pink a little bit better. See, you don't want to cut right. You don't want to cut past this point right here. Because then you're going to hit uh, blood vessels and they'll start to bleed. 
which you may want quick stop on hand. I've personally never used it. Um, maybe something you might want to do though. But it's pretty simple. The best way to do this, in all honesty, is actually to... Let me get this situated. And I'll show you how... Let me see. Okay, there we go. Hey, bunny. Okay, so the best thing you can do is take the rabbit and just slightly put their head right between your legs and then that gives you a good hold on them and they're nice and comfortable. You take your thumb to spread each paw apart. And you take the scissors, or the clippers I should say, and you just, let's see, this nail, there is a thumbnail or do claw up on the rabbit's front feet, so you got to make sure you get that. gonna cut a tiny bit off each nail because they are babies and they don't really have much to clip off the older rabbits I really need to go trim their nails they got some pretty long nails just clipping that little white just the white portion off see there's nothing to it the rabbits totally calm doesn't even know what's going on And the back feet are going to be the same way. You're going to use your thumb to spread the toes apart. Just be prepared that if you do miss and you clip too far back, the rabbit may or may not jump and start flopping around. You just got to be really careful. I've had rabbits since I was oh, 13 or so. Off and on throughout the years. Whoop, I got a scapey. Nope, stay still. Promise I'm not going to keep you from your mama forever. There we go. All done. That was that. That's easy. This rabbit is fine. I do believe that this is a female, but we are going to double check. And again, the way to do this, let me get zoomed back out so you can see, is you're going to go in between the ears again, squeeze their head, it doesn't hurt them or anything, put your hand under their back for support, and typically I like to cuddle them up to my body and kind of hold their head in between my elbow and my rib cage, and then grab a hold of their back feet and then I, you can really kind of tell. Because I've done this so many times, I'm just, and he's, she, he, she, she's so small, I'm able to just hold her with one hand. But you're going to take the little tail right here. You're going to pull it back with your index finger, and then there's a little spot right here, which most of you probably know is their little booty hole. So this is going to be their butthole, and then this is going to be where you tell the sex of your rabbit. So if you push down really gently, you don't want to hurt them, you're going to come out and it's going to look like a little slit. And you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference of the male and the female, and I'll post a picture of them side by side. This one is like a little, whoops, I'm getting out of camera again. It's like a little V shape. Let's see if I can turn it so you can kind of see. It's, just, it's more pointy and triangular. Like, you'll see. I'll, you'll see when I post a picture and show you the male real quick. So that's our female. That's this little cottontail one. I have two of them, so we'll get the other one out. And check. I believe this is a female as well. Actually, this one may be the male. Um... You don't want to do this any earlier than about four weeks. Yeah, so sometimes it's really hard to tell. Where are we at here? There we go. Sorry. Got you off camera. That looks like another little... Oh, that one's 
a little rounder than normal. That is going to be a female as well. You can see their glands, they'll start getting glands. My camera's losing focus. You can see these little glands on the side of their genitals. Those will get kind of stinky. Um, and then the males, of course, will get uh, testicles right there. So once they're about four months old or so, you'll, you'll notice testicles coming in and you'll be able to tell, obviously, that it's a male. Look right here. I think these are... This is a boy, I believe. Let's check. Yep, this is a boy. So you'll see it looks more like a Cheerio. It's very round and it protrudes out a little more than the female. Let's see if I can get a sideways view. It is hard to tell, but once you've done it a few times, it's pretty easy. And um, like I said, he will get a pair of testicles on each side of these glands right here. Right there and right there. And um, also, once he is old enough, once his, uh, his testicles do come in, it's really easy to tell if you have a male or not. We have, I think it's his granddaddy. We did not, sometimes their testicles will be kind of back up inside their body. And it almost, look they look empty. It just looks like an empty sack there. And sometimes you might think they're neutered. But whenever you go to check, or if you do have a neutered rabbit, you go to check, when you pull back, um, a little hook. A little reddish hook will pop out instead of this, just this little Cheerio. But as for a baby rabbit, a kit is what they are technically called. This is, he's a little laxed up, can't. This is what the male looks like. It's real gentle. Hang on, buddy. It's hard to do one-handed here. He's looking down at himself like, what are you doing? Look. <laughs> He's hiding his or something, but a little Cheerio. I'll get a picture, like I said. We'll check this little white one. You're going to have to quit flopping on me, baby. All right. Grab the tail, and we're just going to slide this and when you pull the tail down, it gives you a little more area to slide your finger back on the genital area. Okay, so that is going to be a little boy also. There's a Cheerio. You will see a full... Gosh, I keep missing the camera. Let's get this back on camera. Okay. Alright, so do you see that full Cheerio? There's a full circle on the tip. Some of them, the females may be a little round up at the top, so it's hard to tell. But if you see a full Cheerio tire, full circle all the way around top, that's male. He is totally relaxed right now. We're going to clip all their nails. I think this is the weirdest litter that we've ever had. This one came out solid white and is now looking like a Californian. Um, we have the two that look like cottontails, of course, and then this one was ble the the father looks like a cottontail with blue eyes. This one actually ended up coming out looking like a Dutch rabbit with blue eyes. Now I'm no geologist or genealogist, but I could have swore that you had to have two parents with blue eyes. For that gene to come out but I'm very wrong and I'm sure that somebody on here will comment and explain that but that's something I find interesting but do not have the time to get into it's it gets really complicated and deep and so um, you know everybody has their own hobbies but I thought I just thought this litter was really wild but uh, let's see if he's got black toenails so I can kind of show you. I'll get one of the, yeah, see his toenails are black, but you can see 
like I said, if you look from under the underside here, it's really hard because they're fur so long. You can tell, you get a better idea of where the, the blood vessels are going to be. Definitely helps when they have clear and white toenails. <laughs> But just cut right at the tip and my camera just keeps <laughs> going out of focus here. Just cut right at the tip and you'll be good. Don't cut too far. Trimming them up. If you do it often, then um, it won't be such a big deal. Hey, so... You know, obviously, the more often you trim them, the easier it'll be. And if you just trim a little bit back at a time, then um, you won't have to worry about how far back to cut. You just do it, just, just a tip. You should be good. You can also take a file if you don't like, I mean, they're obviously going to be really sharp after you cut the tip off. But if you take a file, you can just file it down and make it really soft. Yeah. No, I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty simple. It's really easy to do. I wouldn't be afraid to do it. If you're worried about cutting too deep, just cut just the tip. Just do that, and maybe in a week, cut a little more. And um, they grow really fast. And I, I don't really know if it's true or not, but I've always seemed like the the vein seems to go further back towards the skin if you cut them more often. I think once you let them grow out really far, then that vein ends up growing along with the nail, and so. It's, it's out there farther. I don't know if it actually goes back or that's just a theory that I had. But it's very easy to do. And I will, again, like I said, I'll have that picture of the male and female genitals side by side so you can tell the difference. And it's pretty easy. And like I said, if you're interested in one of these rabbits, just let me know. And we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Comment below on what you think. And you genealogy people, go ahead and tell me how that rabbit came out with blue eyes. And we'll see you later.